Hello everyone, welcome to Trishis Pedicup. I am Tejaswini. Today we are starting NCRT 9th Standard Science. In this, we will go for physics first, that to the chapter motion. At first, we have to know the difference between rest and motion. We have to know what is rest as well as what is motion. Rest. We can say an object is in rest when it does not move or when it does not change its position with respect to its reference point. For example, if you are, if we have a shop at point X, let this be a shop. If a bike is standing in front of the shop, then we are saying that the bike is at rest in front of the shop. If it moves, we notice the motion with respect to the shop. It left the shop while in motion. Here, this shop is the reference point. We can say that if a object move from a point A to B, then we can say it is at motion. If it is at rest, then it does not change its position from A. It will be there only. Now, when the object rest only then the yamak head to be andre, other reference point. Andre, for example, on the angdi munde, on the bike niti the andre, other rest only then the head to be. Other a bike sorpa move up to then the yamak head to be angdi bitta the munda kodaga. Ega one point A mathe B eredi the andaga. From point A to B when the object move up to that, for B to A when the object move up to the andre, then it is called as, it is said to be that the object is in motion. With respect to point A, it is moving towards point B. Then only it is said to be in motion or else it will be in rest. That is the moment of the rest 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 of Let us see the types of motion. First one is linear motion, circulatory motion and oscillatory motion. Depending on the paths that the object possesses, we divide these motions into three types. Linear motion, the, when the object travels in a straight line, then we call that the object is a linear motion. When the object follows a circular path, then we call it as circulatory motion. Oscillatory motion, the to and fro motion of an object. In this motion, the object moves backward and forward. Linear motion nalli, when the object straight line al matra travel lagata. Circulatory motion nalli, circle lagi travel lagata. For example, in my ID card to kon rotate martha It is a circular motion. Oscillatory motion. Pendulum clock node is there. Samani yogi. Adu yavaglu to and fro motion alle ratta. Or else jokali elro ader there. Swing. The moment of swing is a oscillatory motion. It goes forward and comes backward. Next topic is physical quantities. What are physical quantities? The phys physical quantity is a quantity of material that is that can be measured. Anything that can be measured is called as physical quantity. There are two types of physical quantities, scalar quantity and vector quantity. Scalar quantity, these are the quantities, physical quantities which can be measured but having only magnitude but not the directions. For example, speed, distance. 
vector quantities vector quantities are the physical quantities which have both magnitude as well as direction for example velocity displacement what is magnitude you can ask me magnitude means having only numbers but not the direction for example speed vehicle speed is we can say 8 km per second but in case of velocity it will be 8 km per second in the direction of east west north south it can be anything distance distance is denoted by small letter s what is distance it is the actual length traveled by an object for example let like the distance between the point a and point b be 1 km if an object is moving from a to b then it is moving from b to c which is 0.5 km then the actual distance covered by the body is 1.5 km the sa unit of distance is meter distance is a scalar quantity and it is always positive and cannot be equal to zero next displacement it is denoted by delta s that is small s that is the change in position say there are points a and b an object is moving from a to b that is 1 km and it is moving backwards and at point d this is 0.5 km far from point a and b it stops here we can say the displacement of the body is from a to d is 0.5 km because this is the shortest distance the distance between the initial point and final point displacement is a vector quantity it is it can be positive negative and it can be equal to zero its si unit is meter and it is denoted by small letter m next topic is speed speed is the distance traveled by a body per unit time say an object is moving from a to b and b to c these are the points we can say that the time taken to travel from a to b and b to c are both are one hours each is taking one and half an object is moving from a to b which is 70 km in one half and the distance between a to c is say 120 km an object is moving from a to c in 2 hours we can say that the speed of the object is distance covered total distance that is 70 plus 20 from a to b first we calculate from a to b it is 70 km per hour from b to c it is 120 minus 70 that is 50 km per hour 
now we can calculate the average speed that is 70 km plus 50 km or we can say it 120 km by time taken 2 hours that is 60 km per hour is the average speed we denote speed in small letter v the and distance covered by the object by small letter s and time by t the formula will be v is equals to s by t and its si unit is we can cal calculate it the si unit of distance is meter and time is seconds meter per second we can write it like this as well. The distance travelled by a body per unit time in a given direction is called as velocity. We can say it displacement by time. Velocity is also denoted by small v. We can denote both uh, speed and velocity in the same as velocity is also a speed with direction. Velocity is a vector quantity. It is it can be positive, negative and can be equal to zero. And the SI unit of the velocity is meter per second. Displacement by time. Average speed. Average speed is equals to total distance covered by a body divided by total time per unit time. Average velocity is equal to initial velocity plus final velocity whole divided by 2. We should know the symbols before we go to the formulas. Distance is denoted by small letter s. Displacement is denoted by delta small s. Time is denoted by small letter t. Speed and velocity uses v. Initial velocity is denoted by small letter u. Final velocity is denoted by small letter v. Speed and velocity capital V. Acceleration is denoted by small letter a. Rest of the part of the chapter motion will be continued in other parts. Thanks for watching the video. Please do like, share and subscribe our channel Rishi's Pedagogy. Thank you.